Welcome to the Photography Opinion Podcast. We discuss all things photo, video, and camera related. I'm Ben Lucas. And I'm Stuart Marlantis. And this is Photo Op. Today, we are talking about a great battle, a battle between two combatants, one, Anish Kapoor, and two, <laughs> Stuart Semple. This is uh, the battle of the ages. Uh, if you are not aware of this, this particular fight, then you have not studied enough modern art history. So Let's call it the uh, battle of the colors. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yes, the 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 epic battle of the colors that has gone on for eons, or or at least a couple of years, like 2016. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> since ancient times. <laughs> yes. I mean, doesn't it kind of feel like it was ancient times? I mean, Let's January just... 2020 is ancient times at this point. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, grab grab a drink, sit down curl up by the fire we're about to have story time boys and girls because this is uh the legacy of uh art in kapoor taste (laughs) (laughs) all right so who are we talking about today i mean i just said their names but who are these people yes so player one is sir anish mikhail kapoor he is a london-based artist uh probably most famously known for the chicago bean which is actually called the cloud gate uh, but no one calls it that. Uh, his superpowers are money, recognition, and having elitist friends. Um, his weakness is the queen's vagina, which is the dubbed name for a piece of art actually called Dirty Corner, which is in Versailles and has been uh, vandalized multiple times, and he doesn't care. It keeps ticking him off that it gets vandalized, but he only cleaned it the one time. He's like, meh. Yeah. So that. I mean, he's done a ton of artworks. He is, he lists uh, in the top 10 richest artists, current living artists in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think he was number seven, but the list I found was a couple of years old. So, uh, you know, he's he's a big that deal. guy. He's, he's a big deal in the art world. Mm. Um, player number two is a very simple uh, art maker uh, based in the UK. Um, he's a printmaker. He does he does painting and prints. Uh, Stuart Semple, his powers are knowledge of the internet. He actually uses it. <laughs> uh, he, but most importantly, he makes his own pigments, um, which you can buy. He's a genuinely nice guy and a crusader for happiness everywhere. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, so that's fun. Uh, his weakness is that boomers might not like him because he has a YouTube channel. <laughs> And uh, as you will discover, I would say another one of his powers is a genuinely great sense of humor. <laughs> and and a new level of pettiness that I think we all strive for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so this all right all right sorry we're we are cracking up because we know Because we know the story. Know if the story. you don't know, so it it is amazing. Here's where the story starts. So <laughs> I mean beyond all of their here's where the story starts in 2016 let's say so there is a a company uh called surrey nanosystems and they made this really cool nanotube based pigment that they called vanta black and nanotubes are essentially uh little tiny 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 uh tubes of carbon that are all oriented in a single direction and that single direction allows them to absorb a very high degree of incoming light uh, 99.965 percent of light uh they initially developed it for um military and medical uses uh what uses those would be i am not sure um, i actually do know some of <laughs> oh that. you do <laughs> i do so actually the reason they call it vanta black mm-hmm. is that's actually an acronym it stands for vertically aligned nanotube arrays mm-hmm. vanta black um so yeah it is the blackest black because like you said it is almost a hundred percent it is um and it's not just visible light it is all light including Mm -hmm. uv and infrared so some of the uses that they have one was they were uh trying to see if they could paint like stealth bombers so that um and another one is they were wondering if they could do a paint that could actually like absorb like uh radar that was mm-hmm. another thing. Um, the uh, the medical and scientific use for it is actually for um, for imaging devices like telescopes or um, uh, 
I, I fail to name any medical devices, but but things that are more powerful than X-ray. Um, I big fancy words, echocardiogram. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> like you, it potentially, I mean, because because light at the end of the day is radio seal, waves. Yeah. So, so you yeah. seal. Mm -hmm. So if you can seal basically the port of where the camera is with this black, mm -hmm. it can stop rays that are not in the frequency that that device is supposed to pick up from entering or and basically it stops light leaks and it stops 99.965 percent of light leaks so mm. they were going to use this on like space telescopes for uh, yeah. whatever the uk equivalent of nasa is that kind yeah. of thing uh, so a lot of technological progress is based on previous technology the are able to filter noise more and more and more from and and this in a way is filtering noise <laughs> absolutely yeah so so yeah it was specifically designed for like you said military and medical the mm -hmm. problem with it though is that it is incredibly expensive it is highly toxic it is very hard to apply it has to be sprayed at a very specific temperature and cured in a vacuum for like post-processing um, it is just incredibly finicky and combustible, terrible for the environment, terrible for your health. You basically have to wear like a full hazmat suit while working with it. You actually have to have a special license to be able to handle the particular chemicals in it. Nasty yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, it is really serious, nasty stuff. Um, so Steve Northrum from Surrey Nanosystems, creator of Vanta Black, said, uh, would, like, would not say how much it costs. We don't know. Um, the only thing that I could find is I found a watch uh, covered in Vantablack for about $100,000. <laughs> and so that's a watch. Expensive. So the one thing that he said is, uh, first of all, I cannot sell you a bucket of Vantablack. But if I could, I don't think there'd be anything much on the planet that would be more expensive. Big so money. we're talking about something ridiculous ridiculously crazy here so mm -hmm. so it starts with surrey nanosystems develops this really cool new technology of this black that blocks everything yeah. what happens next well uh somehow anish kapoor um convinced them that they should only let him have exclusive use of vanta black um when it comes to artistic work artistic projects kapoor studios was the sole the licensee yep of vanta black and no yep. one knows why because everyone has refused to comment so yeah there, there's got to be some mega hush hush deal in place because there is no information about like how this came about <laughs> and why so throughout the whole lots of money rest probably of, yes yeah just he's uh at last count he was worth something like 90 million dollars mm -hmm. so He's got money. Um, so one of the things throughout this whole story is Anish Kapoor declines to comment or is incredibly radio silent on pretty much the whole rest of the story. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't like to do anything. And so enter Stuart Semple. So uh, Semple, one of my favorite quotes in an interview that I saw with him is um, – uh, Anish Kapoor has 40,000 Instagram followers. He doesn't follow anyone back. He doesn't write anyone back or respond or like any comments. It's the equivalent of walking into a house party, shouting about yourself, then not having a conversation with everyone. You look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately uh stuart semple is <laughs> very very funny the um, entire art world has been offended by anish kapoor getting the sole licensee agreement to be able to use this thing for art like mm -hmm. that is that, that just yeah. doesn't make sense doesn't make sense um so stuart semple um being a painter and print printmaker has actually uh made his own pigments for for some while and he made uh what uh he calls the pinkest pink and um he had made this uh this pigment uh sometime before this event but he decided as a result of the whole locking down vanta black scenario that he would pull out pinkest pink and instead of using it just for his own projects he would offer it for sale for anybody to enjoy pinkest pink and he has an excellent quote on his website about pinkest pink in direct response to anish kapoor uh and that quote is by adding this product to your cart, you confirm that you're not Anish Kapoor. You're in no way affiliated with Anish Kapoor. You're not purchasing this item on behalf of Anish Kapoor or an associate of Anish Kapoor. So what happened? <laughs> so, of course, what happens is Anish Kapoor gets his hands on Pink as Pink. Except he does 
pretty much the douchiest thing you can absolutely do. He sticks his middle finger in the pink and then flips off the camera. And uh, so showing that he has the pink with his pink covered middle finger. And his caption is up yours. Hashtag pink. Yeah, not too classy. I, yeah, such a classy guy. Aren't, aren't we glad we're rooting for the millionaire, right? Yeah. So, of course, uh, as Anish Kapoor intended, Stuart Semple saw that he had received the pink. <laughs> of course. So, in an interview, he said, Obviously, Anish Kapoor stole the pink, got the pink, should never have had the pink, and then posted a picture of him dipping his middle finger in it, which I thought was a bit rude. So, I thought it would make sense to release the glitter, which is my diamond dust. So, it's... It's so clear that you can encrust your work with it, and you can still see your work through it. It's cut in a special way so it reflects light at loads and loads of angles. It's like, hang on, let's have the most reflective thing, then that's kind of the opposite of black. Except diamond dust is not your ordinary glitter. Oh, no, no, no. Diamond dust is very special. Yeah, diamond dust is made of glass shards, which uh, would not be terribly fun to dip your finger in. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah try sticking your finger in that you're gonna have a rude awakening mr Hupor. um so then Stuart samples uh he did actually write a letter to mm-hmm. kapoor studios said i wrote them uh and said look it'd be really nice if we can just be friends uh you can say sorry for stealing the pink which was on his website you're not allowed to have and give me the three and 99 pounds that's not 400 that's for 399 pounds <laughs> back that it costs and we can just call it quits and i'll be fine except the story doesn't end there because one of the very few times anish Kapoor finally speaks up <laughs> of course he says uh he told buzzfeed of all outfits that he was true suing- journalists <laughs> he was going to sue Stuart semple um although apparently no papers were ever served <laughs> No, no, yeah, so that's actually something that I checked up on to make sure, and they were not. Yep. So it's just more of an intimidation tactic, which, again, uh, a big douchey millionaire saying Mm. that I'm going to sue you for making a product I can't buy. Well, you have a product no one can buy, sir, and that's kind of the point. And this apparently emboldened Stuart Semple. (laughs) He was not not, uh, uh, scared by this threat of a lawsuit. And he discovered that the London Listen Gallery is actually responsible for giving Anish Kapoor the pink. And so he sent them a letter as well saying that they (laughs) breached the terms of purchase from the website's disclaimer. um, And he suggested that they could make the situation right by doing the following. Um, one, apologizing for giving my pink to Mr. Kapoor. Uh, two, uh, that Kapoor would give the pink back. Uh, the Stuart Semple did not want him to have it. And three, he will write a hundred lines of "I will be nice, I will share my colors, and will post the same on his Instagram." And failing the above, an agreeable agreeable settlement would be the reimbursement of the three ninety nine, the cost of the pink minus shipping, and for Mr. Kapoor to void his exclu- exclusive gr- agreement over the use of Vanta Black in art. <laughs> I my favorite part of that is please give it back. I do not want him to have it. That is that is just so simple and beautiful. Yep. Uh so so to to pause the story here, uh an important note for context is there has only been one other color that has specifically been copyrighted. There mm-hmm. are there are color names that have been copyrighted, like Tiffany Blue, that type of thing. Yeah. But there's only one actual color where the color itself, and that is actually International Klein Blue. So International Klein Blue was a powder mixture that was first mixed by French artist Yves Klein. Um, and its uh, visual impact comes from a heavy reliance on ultramarine. So it's this very particular shade, um, and it's only he copyrighted the pigment of that color of blue. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so one of the things that Stuart Semple was asked about was uh, Eve Klein, and why is he different than the current situation with Anish Kapoor? And his response was, for Eve Klein, with his blue, it was more of a conceptual stance. This is a piece of his work. He made this color, and it meant something to him. Anish Kapoor has not made any color. A lab made this technology, and he signed a legal agreement to use it. So, I I stand with Stuart. That's completely right. If you make something, that is very different than, I'm going to hoard this so no one else can have it. 
exactly exactly so um of course uh there was still a, a hole in the market for a true black you know vanta black style pigment so uh stuart Semple went forth and developed black 2.0 um also which, known as a better black a better black exactly <laughs> um, better than what I want. Hmm. I wonder what it's better than. <laughs> so, uh, in contrast to Vanta Black uh, being uh, toxic and harmful and very expensive, uh, Black 2.0 smells like cherries and costs four dollars. Four pounds. Um, or found, yeah. Four pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and so the other thing too is you can paint it like normal acrylic paints, mm -hmm. and it it doesn't. Yeah, that other stuff is just this highly toxic chemical compound. And Stuart Semple. It was not a multi-million dollar corporation. He's just him. And he managed to make something that is essentially the same. Um, yep. And he kept going. Um, so this was... Uh, uh, he keeps he keeps coming up with new and fun and amusing uh, colors and things to sell on his website, which I'm sure we'll get to in a minute. He does. He does. Um, but uh, Anish Kapoor was uh, going to build a new studio um, in uh, Camberwell and uh the, which is in london which is in london and the residents there uh, started a petition to stop him from building that studio because it would block the light to all of their homes um so he uh that actually it was the residents the residents reached out to Stuart Semple to oh, help them yes yes <laughs> <laughs> and so this is when he released the unicorn paints mm -hmm. phase and shift so these are special color changing paints uh phase changes with the temperature so it mm -hmm. will change color based on what temperature it is which is super cool and shift is always iridescent however it has to be painted over black 2.0 or it will not work and of course to be able to get either of these paints you cannot be anish kapoor you cannot be anish kapoor <laughs> <laughs> i think the phase one um goes between like pink and purple right it's pretty cool yeah. yeah yeah it, it, it I, i've seen it's basically the whole rainbow of colors but mm -hmm. um yeah it's got all those iridescent greens and blues and pinks and purples in it Sweet. it's a very cool paint um but of course he released these and you cannot be a nish kapoor you cannot be an associate of nish kapoor or a bind it on his behalf that's the <laughs> And uh, as as you'll see, he didn't stop there um, for Anish Kapoor's uh, because of course there was of course there was, not right there was no there was no comment or response. Nothing has changed. No it, comment it, or response, it, and he did not void his exclusive agreement over the use of nope. Vanta Black. Which I think if he did, all this would just go away. So uh, Stuart Semple uh, made a Facebook event uh, called "Kiss the Bean." <laughs> <laughs> all right all right uh, so what's let me, the deal let with pull, kiss the bean let me pull up that one so so as we mentioned anish kapoor is the sculptor for the bean in chicago mm -hmm. otherwise known as Cloudgate. Mm -hmm. uh so this is the post that Stuart semple made kiss the bean for anish's birthday join me and friends for a participant participatory art performance to celebrate Anish's 64th birthday. I watched The Grinch over Christmas and I realized that a little bit of love can go a long way in melting even the blackest of hearts. <laughs> Please wear your pinkest lipstick and kiss the bean. If you really want to mix some Vaseline with the pinkest pink, that will work too. By the way, you can buy pinkest pink for $3.99. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot to make someone sue China for making a bootleg bean, which is a thing Anish Kapoor did, and there's a link to it. Uh, it takes a lot to be so money hungry that you agree to some weird copyright deal to stopping other people from taking photos in a public park, which is another thing. Guess what Anish Kapoor did to stop people from taking pictures with the bean? It takes even more for them to go steal the light and color from their neighbors in South London, which is that Cambridge dispute that we just had. Anish actually did build that studio. There was nothing they could do to block him. And now those buildings have no light because he has no taste and built a huge monstrosity. Uh, it takes more for them to get the sole rights to a super black and stop any other artist from using it just so they can sell $100,000 $100, wristwatches, which is another thing that we mentioned that happened but it takes a whole other level to illegally obtain another artist paint without asking not say sorry or give them their 399 pounds back <laughs> sometimes people act like rotters because they aren't getting enough love and i know that we can fix that together so to celebrate anish's 64th birthday we're going to show him all the love see you there love stewart important by attending this event 
you confirm you are not a Nish Kapoor, you are in no way affiliated to a Nish Kapoor, and you are not attending on behalf of a Nish Kapoor or an associate of a Nish Kapoor. To the best of your knowledge, information, and belief of this event will not be attended by a Nish Kapoor. <laughs> And just to underline uh, that Stuart Semple really doesn't want to <laughs> deal with Anish Kapoor. Um, he opened uh, the art shop in London and he has full-time security detail posted at the door with a picture of Anish Kapoor and all customers must sign a declaration on entry to ensure that they will not share his creations with Kapoor or any of Kapoor's associates. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is... And some, uh, so, so if you've seen the bean, uh, memes, with different events going on, this all started with Stuart Semple and mm. his feud with Anish Kapoor, uh, to, to press pause on the conclusion of our story. Some of my absolute favorite bean events, uh, Windex the bean, paint the bean black so they can't Windex it, critique the bean's resume, release the bean into Lake Michigan and shout, you're free! And paint the bean pink as pink to annoy Anish Kapoor. <laughs> Is he allowed to look at the bean if it's painted in pink as pink? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so, so all of this uh, happened 2016 to 2018-ish and then mm -hmm. kind of died down a little bit until last year. Um, another thing happened so in january of 2019 um stuart semple released a new pigment uh in update to his uh better black or black 2.0 he uh, he made black 3.0 so black 3.0 actually absorbs between 98 and 99 percent of visible light so uh what is the difference between black 3.0 and vanta black well vanta black is sucking up light across the broad spectrum that includes like uv and infrared and stuff that your human eye cannot see mm -hmm. so for art it's essentially the same thing Yep. It covers all the visible strips, same visible spectrum as Vanta Black, and of course, it's just a couple of pounds, and you can buy it right now. Um, and the best thing about Stuart Semple is he actually makes no money off the sale of his paints and pigments. They are all sold at cost because he wants artists to be able to have and use and enjoy and create art. If you do want to support him, he has merch, and he makes money from the merch. Yeah, but. But yeah, all of these pigments are sold at cost, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah. And you really should check them out. Like, I'm not like a painter or anything, but um, I even I am tempted by some of the stuff that he has on his shop. He's got some like this mirror chrome paint that looks super the cool. The chromiest chrome. Yeah, the chromiest chrome. Um, he even uh, sells an artistic license if you need one of those. So. <laughs> Yes, it is an actual license that it you is. can show authorities to say, I have an artistic <laughs> license. It is yes. an actual license you can keep in your wallet, and I now want one. Yes. <laughs> Not a joke. Seriously, go on the go on the site right now. <laughs> Which, of course, we will link in the description. So yes, thus concludes story time with Ben and Stewart about the battle of the blacks or the colors. Colors or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Better black, black 3.0 uh versus vanta black um yes that that is your modern art history for this week anything to add i don't think so this has been art in kapoor taste thank you for <laughs> joining us on this journey uh, i love bad puns if you have questions or ideas for future episodes you can email us at hello at photo dash op Dot show. Watch us on Ben's YouTube channel at Nom Creative. As in Om Nom Nom. Share this with a friend and you can listen to Photo Op anywhere podcasts are sold. Or downloaded. Because it's free.